in order to get X360CE to work with Guilty Gear on Steam, you're going to have to first go to where your Guilty Gear folder is located. So for me, it's in drive D. It's probably drive C, wherever you installed Steam. Steam. Let's go to Steam Apps. Common. Guilty Gear Exerd Revelator. Uh, go to binaries win32 because this is a 32-bit game not a 64-bit so if you downloaded x360 ce x 64-bit go back to that website and get the right one you don't want 64-bit because this is not a 64-bit game now what you're gonna do is once you you'll know you found the right folder because you have guilty your exerd the execute file right here then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this folder the 32-bit one, extract it, extract it to desktop. Uh, you're going to take this execute here, this execution, you're going to copy it, then you're going to paste it, you got to paste it in this folder, then you click, double click it, uh, and it's like, oh no, we can find x input one underscore three dot dll. Would you like to create it? Yes. All right, now I've got my real Arcade Pro 4 connected. Uh, search automatically for it. Yep, hit next. I just hit finish. I have Killer Instinct installed in here as well, so that's why it's finding settings from Killer Instinct. Uh, just hit next. It says Xbox 360 controller. I actually have it tricked. I tricked Windows 10 into thinking my PS3 is an Xbox 360 controller, which I don't know if you need to do that step, but that's for a different tutorial. All right, so now I've got X360 controller emulator set up. You can test it, so go to controller one, which should be, yep, it's my real Arcade Pro 4. That works. Your real Arcade Pro 4 should be set on the switch to the PS3. Uh, for some reason, it's the only way I could get this to work for Guilty Gear. No problems with any of my other games, just Guilty Gear. I had to set it to the PS3 and, uh, in addition, use this Xbox 360 controller emulator. Go to controller 2, which is the Xbox 360 controller. It's It says it's an Xbox 360 for Windows. It's actually a PS3 controller with a I believe it was the SCP driver that I used. So we're gonna test that one out. That works, looks good. So we're gonna hit save. Then we're gonna to go to game settings. Ignore this, ignore this. This is where it's important. This right here, this is the non 64 bit version. You should, you should be seeing this and it should have the directory written here. D drive, steam, system apps, common, guilty gear, extra revelatory, binaries, Windows 32, and then of course X360CE EXE. This will probably not be there, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just delete this just for the tutorial. Are you sure you want to delete this setting? Yes. This is solely for the tutorial. You're gonna hit add, and then you're going to go to back to your directory, Steam, System Apps, Common. Guilty Gear Exerd, Revelator, Binaries, Win32, the launch file, Guilty Gear Exerd, Execute, Open, and there you go. That's all you have to do to put it on there. Now, you just want to go to your X input files and see that it says 32-bit is checked. Uh, do not use this if you're playing Killer Instinct. This is only for 32-bit games. Exit. See that it's created these two new folders. You've got that DLL and that .ini folder. So let's go ahead and we should be able to launch it. And we should hear a chime if we did this right. There you go. There's your chime. Uh, let's hit start. Uh, let's go to battle, arcade versus confirm 
And that works. And that works. And that's how you do it. Now, disclaimer. When I first did this, I still couldn't get it to work. Gokura Kumaru from Reddit said, try plugging the controller in after the game starts. Revelatory is finicky when it comes to picking up X input devices. Because I'd pull out the controller that is working and see if the other one starts working. Now, every time I load up Guilty Gear, both controllers work and I don't have to unplug any of them and re-plug them in. So don't understand why Arc Systems had to make this so finicky, but at least it works. And if you're a PC gamer, you're very used to doing workarounds. So thank you for watching.